Arif Malani has now lambasted Jairam Ramesh, questioning the Congress Neta's links with China. And this is what he's tweeted, and I'm quoting. Since 2005, Jairam Ramesh has been lobbying for Chinese telecom company Huawei's activities in India. Now, Huawei has been banned in several countries as a security threat. Jairam now questions the government of India's China stand. It behooves him to disclose its Huawei's links. So, criticism now coming... Jairam Ramesh's way from Mahesh Jait Malani, who's in fact lambasted Jairam Ramesh, questioning the Congress Neta's links with China. And that is the tweet that he has put out. Let me bring in my colleague, Siddhant, uh, who's been keeping a close eye on all these developments. Siddhant, first give us better context and also take us through the fine print of this tweet that has been put out. Well, look, this debate is going on from uh, almost uh, 48 hours. And in fact, uh, it is not the Bharti Janta Party which has started this debate. It is the Congress Party which has started the debate uh, uh, on the sidelines of Bharat Joro Yatra. Uh, the statements that are coming uh, from the Congress leaders questioning the Indian government's uh, response as far as Indochina border is concerned. Or in fact, uh, they also went on to question the courage of the Indian army. And this is perhaps the reason that Mahesh J. Tamalani who is a senior lawyer and uh, and and associated with Bharati Janata Party has put out this screenshot of a document and has also uh, and and tweets and says that uh, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, who also happens to be uh, the communications head of the Congress Party uh, uh, of the Congress Party, has been lobbying for Huawei, uh, which happens to be the Chinese company in India, from a very long time, and in fact. Uh, uh, a time and again, uh, the security agencies, uh, the security apparatus in India have opposed the expansion or the expansionist policies of uh, uh, company Huawei in India because of its Chinese background. But despite that, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, even when he was minister and for that as well, has been lobbying uh, for this company. So, uh, so a very serious charge, a very serious uh, allegation uh, has been made by Mahesh Jaitamalani on Jairam Ramesh. It would be interesting to see that how Mr. Ramesh is going to defend uh, this allegation. Also, you know, in Bharat Joro Yatra, multiple statements are being made, and in fact, uh, the Yatra is in, in in controversy not for the for for uh, for, uh, for the reason for the ideology of the Congress okay. Party, but for the statements that uh, the leaders are making uh, on the sidelines of the Yatra. And right. this is a counter attack that has come from BJP, hmm. you know. And in fact, Mahesh Jaitmalani also wants to put this out straight that uh, that on one end, Mr. Ramesh and his party questions Indian government's response uh, as far as Indo-China relations hmm. are concerned. Time and again, they say that oh, look, uh, China has built uh, uh, built township here. Look, China is doing building dam here. China is doing this. China is doing that, and Indian government is not replying. Indian government is. Not yeah. doing so, Siddharth, as you're saying, a lot of criticism coming in the Congress's yeah. way. Are we seeing any reaction coming in from the Congress already? Well, look, uh, but this, uh, this tweet has uh, come uh, a short while back, but it would really be interesting to see. And in fact, Rahul Gandhi is also going to address a press conference today. So I'm sure the journalists attending that press conference are going to ask this question to Mr. Gandhi that what they, what does he has to say on this allegation which has been leveled by Mahesh Jaita Malani. In fact, he has also put out this note where uh, where where intel agencies are raising question on the expansionist policies of uh, of of the company Huawei. So you know, uh, Mr. Mahesh Jaita Malani, in a way, trying to expose the hypocrisy of the Congress Party that every day in the morning their leaders question. Narendra Modi government, uh, their response uh, as far as China is concerned, and exposing, you know, and putting out the photograph of satellite image uh, uh, of satellite imagery, and you know, and also uh, how China is building dams, building uh, building townships on Indo-China border, and what Indian government is uh, doing. So, so it is it is basically uh, Mr. Jaita Malani wants to expose the hypocrisy that look on one end they question the Chinese uh, on the Indian government, on the other end. They are working hand in glove with the Chinese company. Also, this is not for the first time that BJP has done this. If you remember this old photograph of of Gandhi family uh, with with the senior leadership of the Communist Party of China. Okay. In fact, there was one memorandum also which was signed way back in 2008. Allegedly, that memorandum was signed, and in fact, BJP had uh, 
had been uh, had had exposed that as well, and they have been speaking against uh, uh, the, uh, on that very issue as well. So this is perhaps for the second time. Okay, Sadan, I apologize for interrupting. I'll just request cat. you to stay on with us. I also want to quickly take in a reaction from Mr. Nalin Kohli, who is now joining us on the broadcast. So thank you for taking our time and joining us here on CNN News 18. I'm looking at the tweet that has been put out. by mahesh jait malani who's in fact lambaste jairam ramesh and he's put out certain screenshots of documents as well going on to say that jairam ramesh has been lobbying for telecom companies like huawei and others why do you think the lobbying has happened well that question would have to be answered by mr jairam ramesh but certainly one can say that the congress party seems to have a love with china in terms of the two parties doing there in terms of meeting the Chinese ambassadors secretly, while our soldiers were battling at Doklam, in terms of constantly asking the Indian Army and the Indian government for proof, speaking a language that people would construe is closer to the China's perspective. So I mean that's really for Mr. Jairam Ramesh and uh, others in the Congress Party to answer. Right, Mr. Kohli, talking about the larger, you know, comments that we've been seeing, we've seen something come out from Digvijay Singh and others also asking for proof as far as Balakot is concerned, and then a U-turn saying that I have the highest regard and respect for the armed forces. While the Congress has distanced themselves, saying this was a personal comment, do you think it's far too convenient for the Congress just to say that this was a personal comment? Without a shadow of a doubt, your assessment is correct. It is not a personal comment because Mr. Digvijay Singh is known to make these comments on a regular basis. He did that even with the Batla House encounter, and always he gets away with it. So one would may wonder whether it is driven by vote bank politics, whether it is really driven by some political compulsions of the Congress Party, which uh, has uh, the blessings of the very top leadership. And the fact of the matter is, what does it achieve by questioning the valour of our own armed forces? So therefore, it raises a serious question. do they feel that our armed forces are not acting in the interest of the country that when they go out in the surgical strikes or when balco takes place they are lying they believe that in such display of valor in putting down an enemy state or taking action to protect india's interests is not the correct course of action so if they don't have any faith in it this would be something the congress answers but more importantly you have to compare it with the modi government Yesterday, only twenty-one mm. Paramvir Chakra awardees have been given. Uh, the islands in the Andamans sure. have been named by the Honorable yeah. Prime Minister on Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's day. So, therefore, I think it shows the stark contrast in the approach of the BJP and the Congress. Mr. Kohli, I quickly also want to go back to this tweet that Mahesh Jait Malani has put in the screenshots of uh, documents that he has put out as well. When he says there is lobbying that has happened. What is the BJP demanding? That's one at this point of time, and two. Why do you think there is more than what meets the eye? That can't be ruled out, given the circumstances and the statements of the Congress Party on regular basis. What angularities they have that is questionable, and therefore they have to come clean. It's not for the BJP to answer that; it's for the Congress to answer that. And two, when they raise these kind of fingers. At our armed forces or the government, when you point a finger one direction, you have three pointing back at you. They have to answer those.